Hey guys, this is the Baron back again. Uh, sorry for the really bad quality. This was a pull off the internet off YouTube, so hopefully you guys will bear with me. But that's not why you're here. Uh, so today I just want to talk about a new feature that I thought about that they should incorporate uh, into jet gameplay, and that's the introduction of bombing or payloads. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what this is, I'll try to tell you using a situation. So you're in a jet and you see enemy players coming up below you. Then you would switch to your bombs and you would get the hard similar to the guided missiles and wait for the rectile to line up with your enemy and then literally drop a series of bombs on the ground. All unguided, all out of the pilot's hand. In the military, in real life, they call this a payload, uh, where the commander or infantry can specify to tell pilots where to drop bombs. Now I can see, I can really see this idea uh, taking off in Battle 4, pun unintended. <laughs> and I, I really got to thinking about almost all aspects of it and how how it's good and how it's bad, uh, how it could be balanced, uh, how it would work in customizations, and how would be how would it be used by players, and how it would be built upon. I'm going to try and break it down for you guys, and at the end of the video, tell me what you guys think about my concept, if you like it or hate it, tell me below. Uh, so the first aspect we should address straight away is the, is the feature balanced, and I'm going to say it's not, it really isn't. So just imagine if you were playing infantry and a jet flies over and kills you instantly, it would not be the most fun thing to happen to you. So should we make it a less damaging feature? Should we make it harder for pilots to at least target players on the ground? These are things we must take into consideration. For now though, I just want to focus on the bomb itself. I think that there should be more than one type of bomb. There should be a widespread bomb uh, where it's effective, uh, effective at covering wide areas. However, it is damage is put down drastically, so giving it that balance. We could have the opposite to this with a very precise bomb with no spread and instantly kill on target. This could create a really a good balance between the two. Another bomb type is napalm where the bomb is dropped and it explodes in a fire and it creates a fire in an area. It would be, sim it would be similar to incendiary grenade. The grenade explosion isn't all that damaging, but the flame, if you stay long enough, will kill you. So the bomb type gives an area of effect and constant damage. Now I do realise that the napalm is actually a devastating weapon in real life, but this is a video game and you gotta find the balance. Uh, we could also have a slow release bombs where you similar to what you see in the old war, in the old wars like World War 1 and 2. So you have to factor in that time where bombs would hit the ground, giving that player like a certain skill in a jet for bombings. There are plenty more bombs out there, but I'll leave it at that. Finding a balance concept for each of these would take like way too long, so I'll move on. Now, in relation to the HUD, uh, it is, of course, would be similar to the guided missile HUD, only except that there would be no lock-on noise or no lock-on, like, visual. And also, I want to see um, some sort of v zeroing feature, similar to what we've seen on snipers, except with this, it shows how far away the target is, the targeted ground is, and also how long bombs would take to hit the ground. However, I do realise this feature would make bombing uh, so easy to do. So this feature is more of an idea that can be built upon again. Uh, not, or not really needed it, if anything at all. I'm looking at all aspects that DICE can do. If they can do it, I'm mentioning it in my videos. So they could be just really out there, they could be unpractical, but I'm still going to mention it. Next specification on my list is how would the bomb be dropped? Obviously, if the jet is upside down, uh, the bomb should not be dropped because it could destroy the, the jet itself as it falls down. So what I was thinking, um, the rectile on the HUD could act as like a fail safe in my in my eyes. So the only so only if the rectile is targeted on the ground and there's a certain indicator like saying if so the range is like if the range text is like red then you can drop the bomb. Uh, now of course this is per this is perfect for a realism factor. It makes sense. Uh, how from a fun point of view. There's nothing really you can do with it, unless you know you're aiming at an aircraft with your bombs. Now that's going to be like a, a troll video, if that makes sense. So where would the bombs go in a customization slot? Unfortunately, uh, there hasn't been any customization content for a jet to tell us how many slots there are. I'm sure there are a lot of players out there who went to Gamescom, uh, they got to tinkering with, this, with the customizations on their jet, but on the live stream, they didn't show us anything, and no one's on YouTube has shown us, from what I've seen, no one has shown uh, the jet customization slots. But I'm going to assume um, there are at most two slots. So you could have like heat seekers and bombs, or guided missiles and bombs. So you get, you've got your heat seekers and bombs, it gives you like an all round kind of, kind of thing, where you can take out aircraft and people on the ground. With the guided missiles and bombs, it makes you a jet 
that is just solely made for ground assault. So hopefully you kind of get my drift with that one. Now I get some players would not find this whole bombing idea, like it just isn't all that appealing to them. Now all you'd be doing is just dropping bombs on players and getting kills. But I'm trying to look at the bigger picture here. So what can bombing provide to gameplay with other new features in Battlefield 4? Now the first thing that's going to work well is uh, with this idea is uh, hand flares. Now just imagine you're in a jet and you see a flare on the field. It's a signal for you to drop a bomb in that location. So you'd light up the flare shown by infantry in infrared of course, and your HUD will be infrared so you can see those flares and then just aim and then bombs away. I just imagine how good you'd feel if you did that. And just imagine what the other player on the ground was thinking. He throws a flare to mark an enemy and he sees the bomb fall um, on top of them. Uh, that's a battleful moment right there. So what I'm trying to say is that there are a lot of aspects of Battlefield 4 that are not really appealing by themselves but if you put them together it, it becomes like that much more uh, so that's it guys there is probably a lot more to talk about with this idea but I want you guys to share your thoughts down below and I will get back to everyone if you like this video and you want to see more click on that like button and subscribe again thanks so much guys and I'll see you later